Alan, we're here at Seco Tools. Now, you head up the engineering side to the business and, and very much project work, the specials. But today we're here on behalf of Aro, our REM Systems Limited in the UK. Now, you've got three systems here, but what are the real benefits of having the Aro automation systems? Uh, we like the, the versatility for loading. Uh, in custom products, we do quite a big variety of tools, uh, generally fast turnaround and small quantities. So we need to be versatile and be able to adapt quickly and change over quickly. So we can have lots of different uh, fixtures, three-jaw chucks, tooling loaded into the Aroa, and that's a nice easy way for the, the uh, setter to change over quickly. That's one of the benefits of it. Now, we do see a lot of customers that have gone down the automation route, but you know, when you look at your facility here, can you actually offer something that you couldn't before with the Aroa systems? Yeah, I think primarily for us, the big deal for me with the Aroa system is being able to run lights out. Uh, we've got one uh, day shift that starts at seven and finishes at three. From three o'clock, on, particularly on one of our Aroa systems, and we're currently developing the rest, um, we have uh, work specifically set up to run lights out. Um, which we can do with the Aero system, that uh, is a massive benefit to us. It's increased our productivity uh, and we're also taking work that possibly would have been subcontracted out previously. We're now bringing it in-house and doing it at a, a rate that's cheaper than we would have done if we'd have subcontracted that work out. And when you look at the actual systems themselves, what, what sort of backup do you get from REM systems? We've had no technical issues at all. Uh, so we've had no uh, mechanical problems, we've had complete re reliability from them. For lights out for us, reliability is absolutely vitally important. We set the machine up to run at night and we come in in the morning, we expect to be a certain number of components completed. They can go straight into inspection or maybe a little bit of deburring inspection. We've had no reliability issues at all. The system has been perfect that way. And when you look at the, the, the options of the systems, does it give you a lot more capacity to offer the market? It does. It's increased our capacity. Um, certainly, as I say, on the one machine, We've got the one row working uh, with the right tool holding that you want. We're investing in more tool holding so we can run the same sort of work on those other rowers. We'll bring them more into capacity. That will give us treble the amount of hours that we would have had running from a normal day shift. And any, any customers out there that are looking for unique tooling uh, or fixtures or, or whatever it may be, should they be talking to you because you've got these systems? Definitely. C custom tools is what we're really, really interested in Seco UK in the, in the area that I'm uh, team leader of uh, and I think it may be some customers are not completely aware of, of, of that side of Seco. Seco produce a range of 40 to 50,000 tools in their catalogue standard tooling but where we step in uh, we can do a quick turnaround on tools that suit a particular issue that customer may have uh, in aerospace or medical automotive when they need a quick turnaround on a particularly complex tool that, that we that we or other customers can su supply. That's where that's where custom tools step in. And my last question is that for any engineers out there who are a little bit worried about automation, how it actually works. What would you say to those UK engineers that should be using a rower or a automated system? Based on your years, what would you be saying to them? I think it's it's the future because it increases capacity. It allows um, the guy on the machine to actually to be able to produce more, one person can produce more, their, their jobs are still safe really because they're, they're bringing in more work, it allows you to bring in more work. If anything, it's, it's, it's defending your own position, I think. And people that are early adopters in that or people that, um, that embrace that technology will be one step ahead of the competition. And really, I know I said that last question, however, if you're investing again at Seco on, on automation, would it be down the Aurora route? We would, we want, we'd want the continuity but it's a proven system to us and we like the reliability of it, so we would certainly be staying with, with the irrelevant.